One of the issues that's hung over this presidential campaign uh, have been close ties between the Democratic candidate yeah. uh, and Wall Street. We've seen some of that uh, in email releases and over the weekend, the transcripts of her speeches with Goldman Sachs. Um, I don't know if you've had a chance to read those yet, but that's an issue that you've talked about. Right. So talk a little bit about your views on Secretary Clinton's relations to Wall Street and more broadly, yeah. how you think that affects the press. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think there's a lot of uncertainty there. I think, you know, she's got people like uh, Gary Gensler, who I have a lot of confidence in. Uh, there are others uh, who, who I'm a little uh, more wary of. I, I think I would feel better about it if she would just come out with something definitive, like, you know, are we going to, does she want to restore Glass-Steagall? Does she really want to increase capital standards? Um, she came up with a pretty comprehensive list of Wall Street reforms several months ago, but, but there was something like 30 things in there. And some of them, like the, the risk fee, which ironically we got through the House as part of Dodd-Frank and, and lost it in the Senate, uh, or I think she would tax cancellation orders to address high-frequency trading. So those kinds of things could be significant. But, you know, it, it, those are two things in a list of 30. And what, what's actually going to be implemented when she comes in? If she would be, be a little more definitive about what she wants to do, I, I think I would feel better about it. Um, clearly, and it's not to say that the, the, the people in the, in the Bill Clinton administration, and many of whom uh, join the Obama administration are bad people. They're not. But I do think they have a certain view of the world, which is uh, pretty Wall Street-centric. And I think you need uh, more diversity of viewpoints and, and greater independence from that viewpoint. And I do uh, worry that uh, she's not going to be drawing from a broad range of people and advising her on these issues.